the Social Girl Traveler and this is the Travello Travel Blogger interview and so I'm going to answer a few questions. I have my computer right here. So my name is Jen, the Social Girl Traveler. You can find me on all my social media handles. That's Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, well, everything is the Social Girl Traveler except Twitter. Twitter's the Social Traveler. You can find me on YouTube, The Social Girl Traveler. Super easy. I'm based out of New York City. I've been to 41 countries across six continents. I've lived in five of them. I've lived in Spain, London, Brazil, Costa Rica, and Australia. And by lived, I mean like I worked and lived for more than five months. <laughs> um, why am I a travel blogger? So I'm not just a regular travel blogger. I am a travel blogger that travels for impact. I call myself an impact travel blogger, which means that 100% of my trips are impact driven. I carry clean water filters to third world countries and distribute them to communities that need it the most. So also fun fact, I've distributed these water filters in six different countries and now I'm currently headed to Nepal to make country number seven. So I'm super excited about that. Um, each water filter is for 100 people for up to five years, five years. And uh, I've implemented an estimate of 12,000 water filters, or impacted an estimate of 12,000 lives around the world, which is pretty freaking cool. My two favorite countries are Indonesia, Bali, and Sydney, Australia. I love Sydney, and I love Bali. Both beautiful countries if you've never been. On my bucket list is Sri Lanka and the Philippines. On my bucket list is Sri Lanka and the Philippines. So a little bit of background of who I am. I born and raised in New York City. I am Cuban American. I used to work in a marketing agency in New York City. I was an account manager and I kind of didn't want to do the rat race anymore. Had the nine to five, I was exhausted. And so I sold my stuff, packed my bag, and started traveling the world in 2015. And now I've been doing this for three years, which is mind blowing to me. Um, I write for several publications like Huffington Post, Matador, Thought Catalog. I've been featured in Forbes. I've been on TV. Um, I've definitely gotten out there, but it's been a really hard struggle. Travel blogging is not easy. <laughs> it is a lot of work. Um, it's also not as lucrative as you want it to be, at least not at first over time. Um, the more you grow as a influencer, the more um, lucrative it becomes basically. Um, if I can give you guys five travel hacks, I would tell you that before preparing for a really big flight, try not to sleep the night before too much. That's what I did, if you tell. <laughs> uh, two would be drink a lot of water, don't drink alcohol. I know that's really hard because they give free alcohol in international flights, but um, it really does your body no good. It helps, it like retains water in your body and you get more swollen, you feel really uncomfortable, you'll get a headache, yada yada. Um, so definitely something I don't recommend. Um, always try to pack light. I mean, I feel like some people really spend money when they're abroad and um, they buy stuff because they want souvenirs and you know, all that stuff. So try to pack as light as you possibly can. It is hard. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Take it from the girl that loves clothes um, and shoes. And I've learned so many life lessons traveling. Uh, I'm a female solo traveler and for the past three years I've only traveled by myself. So I have so many life lessons. Um, I think the most important one, and I'll leave you guys with this, is take everything, including travel with a grain of salt. <laughs> Catch my flight. I'll see you soon.